Hey guys, Scott Flegelman here, Boulder Pickleball, here to talk to you today about the split step and why it is such an important step when it comes to playing better pickleball. I'm going to share some video from a recent training session of mine together with my drilling partner, Joanna. Run back through those clips in slow motion so that um, I can demonstrate the timing, the mechanics, and the value of the split step. And then we're going to finish it all off uh, with one rally from a recent super high-level women's pro doubles match, which beautifully demonstrates fantastic split stepping and partnership choreography. So let's go. And here is the split step, a very brief pause, a thousandth of a second. My knees are bent, I'm on the balls of my feet, springs are loaded, and I'm ready to react left, right, forward, or back, depending upon where my opponent's shot goes. Okay, here we go. I'm returning serve. I'm going to do a little mini split step just as Joanna serves and commit to one side or the other. This time it's a forehand. I have the time when the ball leaves my paddle until it reaches Joanna's to adjust my court position. And there it is. I've got to do that split step when the ball is on Joanna's paddle. Joanna serves super deep here, which forces a pretty short reply from me and limits my ability to make it too close to the non-volley zone before she makes contact. I actually make a split second split step, but still enough to bend my knees, load my springs, and be able to move left, right, forward, or back, depending upon where the ball goes once it leaves Joanna's paddle. As the previous slide shows, I've actually gotten a little bit greedy here with my court position, waiting until just after the ball leaves Joanna's paddle, and then quickly split-stepping, reacting, and getting her excellent third out of the air. We'll slow this one down a little bit more in the mid-court. I'm going to move forward here and watch how I actually leave my feet in order to dynamically split step. And then I move very quickly from there to split step and react. It's not a split stop. I don't wait for the ball to come to me where I did the split step. I split step for a thousandth of a second, then react and move left, right, forward, or back accordingly. Another split step, I'm gonna move laterally, staying on balance. Another split step, and now I've got options, and I sort of fracture some of the spirit of skinny singles here, but we've been working on disguising the location of our two-handed backhands lately. Let's take a look at the value of split stepping on serve when sometimes you're not able to move all the way up to the non volley zone after one shot. Here comes the drop. I only move up just a little bit before splitting and having to make a tough reset. I move a little bit further forward with another split and now I can finally make it to the non volley zone when I've bounced the ball in the kitchen. I'm well balanced, playing some aggressive dinking, and like before, I've set up myself with some options to go ahead and win the rally. Let's watch this rally one more time from a different angle. I'm getting ready to hit a new school third shot, which gets to Joanna and back to me pretty quickly, so I only have time to split, react, and reset split, react, and reset. Now the ball bounces in front of Joanna and I've neutralized the rally. 
Remember that split stepping is also super valuable at the kitchen. If I don't load my springs and split step at this exact moment, I may miss out on the opportunity to put away this floater that's coming down the middle. Yes! <laughs> Let's check out this incredible rally that demonstrates the skill, athleticism, and especially split stepping ability of today's top young pros. These two teams are battling, aren't they? Fans cannot believe what they are seeing. Let's run that back one more time, this time in slow motion. Anna Lee Waters here in the near court gets ready to hit her third shot. Anna Bright, her partner to her left, moves forward optimistically but cautiously. And as that ball nears Elise Jones' paddle, both players go ahead and split step. Not all the way to the non-volley zone yet. Annalie Waters will select a drop shot. And while her ball is in the air, begin moving forward as swiftly as she can, knowing that when the ball reaches Elise Jones again, she's going to need to split step to give her the best chance of reacting to what turns out to be a really aggressive dink and watch how beautifully Annalie springs to her right, makes a great recovery, stays in the point, all thanks to a dynamic split step and great reaction skills. Now they adjust their court position again as Leah Jansen prepares to hit her dink. There's the split step and react. Annalie prepares to hit her next shot. Anna Bright gives her a little bit of room. Now while the ball's in the air, we have a chance to adjust our court position and get ready to split step again. There it is. Both players fully loaded springs, ready to react to whatever may come. Annalie Waters now has prepared and she's ready to go ahead and spice things up a little bit in this point. And we know the fireworks ensue, but we'll go ahead and stop right here, which demonstrated the split step beautifully. Let's run it back one last time, and this time I want to offer my favorite tip for how to get better at pickleball when watching pro pickleball. The best way to do that is to keep your eyes focused on only half of the court. So from this view, we want to take a look at the lower half of the court. Try not to let your eyes follow the ball to the other side. Just watching Anna Lee Waters to the right and Anna Bright to the left. This would be the same thing if you had a side view. Just don't turn your head back and forth. Just watch one half of the court while listening to the ball on the other half of the court. This is a great way to improve your knowledge and understanding of the split step or any other shot in the game uh, where you'd like to improve from watching the pros.